Good morning. Welcome to a Friday morning edition of Mornings with Stanley. Got Stanley right here. Lisa's in the other room. It's been a busy morning. Got up early and did some rowing. You know, I have this program called Ergata that um, it's a um, a tablet that comes with it and there's a program on it and it gives you all these different workouts and I, I love it. It's been great. But they give a challenge every month and this month was to do 20 races under 1500 meters so 20 sprints like summer sprints is what they're calling it 20 you could do 20 30 or 40 and i just, i like to do just regular rowing I don't, i'm not really big into the races but um i like to they give money to charity i don't remember what the charity is this month but um they give a five dollars per for everybody who completes the challenge, you get $5. So, so I always do it. And some of the charities have been really good. I don't know who it is this month, but I'm sure it's fine. But so I did four races today cause I just wanted to finish <laughs> cause I'd done or five races today. I'd done 15 before today. So anyway, I'm tired. <laughs> and then I rode for an additional 15 minutes. So I could get 15 minutes of rowing. Then we went for a walk. And now I've gotten cleaned up. I'm gonna get this posted. Then I'm gonna go to Aldi for the first time, buy some groceries. I'll see if I'll be a Aldi person or a stick to being going to the other places that are already here. Anyway, I have nothing else to say. It's Friday. I'm tired. I'm looking forward to a nap today. And that's it. Stanley, do you have anything to say? No. Okay, well, I'm going to kick you out. <laughs> you don't want to be kicked out. If you would sit down on my feet like you did yesterday, I could let you stay. But I'm not sure that's what you're going to do. I think he just wants to be petted all the time. Okay, I'm gonna put you out. Come on. Okay. Our reading today is Friday from week seven from In Christ by E. Stanley Jones. The steps up, the steps down and up. We saw yesterday that in all these things, we are to be more than conquerors. If the word had been X or sub or super instead of N, then the power of our faith would have been turned away from the human problems. Not their solution, but escape from them. Above, beneath, around, apart from, not N would have been our interest. Any other word except N is fatal. If religion cannot solve the problems of life as is, then it has no place in life. It is opium. I have lived all my life amid religions, which, when they came to this business of life now, have tried to rise above it, have tried to step apart from it, have, have feigned indifference to it, have steeled themselves against it, have done everything except face it and solve it. In. That little word in has been the rock over which they have stumbled to their doom, usually gradual doom, but doom nevertheless. There is no way to solve life except from within. Jesus did just that. He entered life, became incarnate. The steps in that incarnation are seven, according to Philippians 2, 5 through 13. Have this mind among yourselves, which you have in Christ Jesus, who through who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He gave up the ultimate position and ultimate security, step number one. But emptied himself, emptied himself of everything but love, step number two. Taking the form of a servant from creator to creature and a serving creature, step number three. Being born in the likeness of men, not a verbal identification, a real one, step number four. And being found in human form, he humbled himself, became man, and then lower than proud man, step number five. And became obedient unto death, the ultimate identification with our death, step number six. 
even death on a cross. The identification of Lois, the identification of Lois down. Step number seven. Here's our prayer for today. Oh, Jesus, I marvel with deep down marvel at your end. How deeply in, in you did we... I'm sorry, he has all, all this King James English in here. It's like I'm trying to translate it. How deeply in you did... I'm going to read it in King James and just let you figure it out. How deeply in thou didst come, we will never know. We shall explore it forever. What we, set, what we see sets our hearts a tingle to know the wonder of it, to know it fully. I thank thee for what I see. Amen. And our affirmation for the day. Jesus stooped to save. How wonderful that stooping was. I shall explore forever. Jesus is Lord.